Good morning, everybody. I'll be over there in a minute. Hello. Rumble, rumble, hello, hello, hello. Uh, hello. Who are you? Uh, hello boys and girls. Uh, Stitch, I have a panda here. And he's just wandering around the room. Uh, are you around, Stitch? Stitch, where are you, Stitch? Stop playing around. Hello. Hey, yes, is this your friend? Andy, Andy. <laughs> Andy? Yeah. Oh, his name is Andy the Pandy? Andy the Panda Bear. Oh. Hello. Hello. Andy. Andy. Oh, his name is Andy. Well, it's nice to meet you, Andy. Well, Stitch brought Andy today. Here, I'll hold you guys up on my arm. How's that? Is that okay for you? Okay. Wow. It's nice to see you guys today. Thanks for hanging out with us. Guess what today is? Fun Friday! That's right. The end of our fourth week of video school. Wow! Stitch is all excited. Okay. But wow. That means you get two days off. Two sleep-in days. Two wake-up days off from school. Saturday and Sunday. So that'll be nice. And... And also, we're doing something special today, too. Mm, can you remember what it is? I told you about it yesterday. I'll talk about it a little bit later on. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Andy. Glad you came by to visit us. I don't know. Can I pet your head here? Oh, yes, Ditch. I'll do you, too. He likes this. <laughs> yeah, he likes it when I scratch it right here. <laughs> oh, anyways, I'm glad you guys are here today. Well, it's very nice that you came visit. Well, Andy, maybe you can help us with the flag. You're really small. The flag's kind of big. But maybe I'll help you too, okay? And Stitch, you'll do our Bible for us, right? You guys go get ready. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay, see you guys later. Wow, boys and girls, I am so glad you are here with me today. Definitely, definitely have been missing you guys. The last video was like forever ago. Of course, it was just yesterday. But I'm excited because it's Friday and I love Fridays. Well, Saturday I have to mow my yard. But I got some things I'm going to do. I'm going to play with some Legos. And and that's usually all I do is just play with Legos and watch Netflix when I'm at home. Read some comics. <laughs> so, but anyways, I need to make some videos on my Legos. And, I, and I've just been fried mentally when I get home on the weekends but anyways but I am so happy that you are here with me today yes oh I see all of you oh I see you I see you yeah I see all of you oh yes I see you too yeah cool I'm so glad you're all here today this is neat okay let me tell you the special thing that we're going to do later today now this is Friday so you'll have um this video to watch then the next video to watch, video number two, will be your instruction video on your work here behind us. Then after that, I want you to watch your Bible verse review video. Same one you've been watching all week. And I want you to watch your phonics review video. Same one all week. And I want, want you to watch your numbers video. Same one all week. Okay. Then you can also watch story time video um, sometime today. I remember yesterday we had Luis, the uh, llama, um, and she's with us again. And we're going to um, read Llama Llama, Grandma and Grandpa book. 
uh, about a little llama boy. And uh, she picked that book for us. So we'll be reading that later today. And also, the special theme, the special day is you didn't have to dress up at all. You're going to have lunch with Mr. and Mrs. Coon. That's right. Um, you can watch the video while you eat your lunch. And I'll talk to you. And uh, share some stories. And do some funny talking. And, uh, and everything while I eat my lunch. And we'll spend about 15-20 minutes having lunch together. So you eat lunch while you're watching. And also we eat lunch together. So that'll be nice. We're trying it out and see if you like it. Uh, but anyways, and so that'll be the special today. So today you actually get seven videos if you count the lunch ones and the storybook one. Wow, seven videos today. Whoa. So if you don't finish them all today, you can watch them tomorrow. It's Saturday. So you can do that if you want. And that's okay. Now, let's go ahead and begin and uh, with our pledges. And let's see if Andy, Andy the Pandy. Oh, here. Let me try to help you. He kind of popped up there and kind of, whoa, scared me there. So let's help everybody get ready while Andy gets ready. And I'll help him. He's a little guy. You got to wrap your arms around it, okay? Okay. Okay, good job. Okay, everybody, hands over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, let's do the uh, Christian flag. Now stay ready. We're going to do a Christian flag. Okay, here, Andy. Hold this both hands, both hands. Okay, you can hold it up. Okay, here we go. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. Thank you, Andy. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's put this down. And then Stitch is going to help us with the Bible. Okay, everybody get ready. Okay, Stitch, bring me the Bible. Okay. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Hands over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I'll make a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Thank you, Stitch. Good job. Okay. Let's go ahead and pray, okay? Good job, class. Good job. Okay. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Help us have a wonderful day today. Thank you. It's fr fun Friday. We ask, Lord, that you... Um, be with everybody that's sick around the world that you watch over them. We ask, Lord, that you be with Edward's mom and Timothy's mom as they're working in the hospitals, Lord. Lord, we ask that you be with the doctors and all the other nurses and all the other rescue people and the policemen and the soldiers that are helping out. We ask, Lord, that you be with our president. Give him wisdom. Lord, we just ask that you be with our, our governor, too, and our mayors. Thank you, Lord, for your love and grace. We ask, Lord, that you help us have a fun day today and a good day today. Help us do our best and be super kind and help us be super helpful today. We ask, Lord, that you be with Edward. Help him have a good day today. And, Lord, we ask that you be with Ava. Help her have a good day today. And, Lord, we ask that you be with Eunice. Help her have a good day today. And, Lord, we ask that you be with Caden. Help him have a good day today. And, Lord, we ask that you be with Liam. Help him have a good day today. And Lord, we ask that you be with Timothy. Help him have a good day today. And Lord, we ask that you be with Randall. Help him have a good day today. And Lord, we ask that you be with Prince. Help him have a good day today. And Lord, we ask that you be with Lorenzo. Help him have a good day today. And Lord, we ask that you be with Madison. Help her have a good day today. And Lord, we ask that you be with Rebecca. Help her have a good day today. And Lord, we ask that you be with Sonia. Help her have a good day today. Why, she's all the way in Puerto Rico with her grandma. We ask, Lord, that you watch over me. Help me have a good day today. And Lord, we ask that you help Stitch obey and be good today so that I'll have a good day today. We thank you, Lord, for loving us. Amen. Wow, thank you. I would like to say, good morning, class. No, nope. was not loud enough. Let's say that again. Good morning, class. <gasps> yes. 
Good job! I heard you. Oh, I heard you. Oh, yeah, I heard you too. You are very, very loud. Yeah, I heard you. Good job. Now, you want to sing a couple songs? Let's sing a couple songs. Let's do the little light of mine. Let's try to see if we can do that. Remember, get your light out. This is your light. Okay, here we go. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Won't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine. Won't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Shine all over Orlando. I'm going to let it shine. Shine all over Orlando. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Good job! Very good job. Okay, now, let's do deep and wide. We didn't do a lot. Okay, I'm going to need some helpers. Where are you, helpers? Where are you? Let's see. Grab some helpers. Let's see. Okay, Liam and Randall and Edward and Lorenzo. Okay, let's just do... Deep and mm, here we go. Deep and mm, deep and mm, there's a fountain flowing deep and mm, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Deep and mm, deep and mm, there's a fountain flowing deep and mm, good job. Okay, let's see. Sonia and Madison and Ava, let's do mm and wide. Here we go. Mm and wide. Mm and wide, there's a fountain flowing. Mm and wide, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Mm and wide, mm and wide, there's a fountain flowing. Mm and wide. Okay, need some more help. Let's see. Rebecca, Timothy, and Eunice. Let's do. Mm and mm. Here we go. Mm and mm. Mm and mm. There's a fountain flowing, mm and mm. Bumpy, 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 mm and mm. Mm and mm. There's a fountain flowing, mm and mm. Good job, okay? Uh, Prince and Caden. Okay, you help us. We're going to do it super fast. Okay, everybody else try it too. Get our hands ready. Move your fingers. Get them ready. Here we go. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing, deep and wide, boppy, boppy, boppy. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing, deep and wide. Good job! All right, give yourself a brain kiss. Long brain kiss. Good job, good job, good job. Very nice. This is Jesus Loves Me. I like that one because Jesus always loves us. Jesus made us. The Bible says God is love. And we know Jesus loves us. He's our shepherd. He watches over us. He protects us. And he loves us. So, let's sing. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. And we know in the Bible, everything in the Bible is true. Even though it might sound incredible, it is all true. God said his word is true, and the stories in his Bible are true. They really, really happened. And the Bible says that God loves us, so that's true. God loves us. God made us. Yes, God gives us his love, God gives us his grace, and God gives us his strength to be brave and to help other people. Let's go over and see the calendar. I think I heard the calendar making some noise, and uh, let's go over and see. I think the calendar is awake, so let's find out. Let's go. Let's go on a trip. Let's go this way. Boom. 
bump, bump, bump. Going with me. Here we go. Bump, bump. Keep up. Keep up. We're going. Keep up. Hello, Mr. Fox. <gasps> Let's go to the calendar. Bump, bump, bump. <gasps> there's the outside. Oh, there's the outside. No animals. Let's go. Whoa, there's monkey. Hey, monkey. <gasps> Those monkeys. Hey guys! Wow! Let's go. Hello, Mr. Calendar! It's good to see you today! Hello! Well, yesterday was Thursday, so we know today is Friday. Fun Friday! So, yesterday was 23. What comes after 23? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's right, 24. So we'll go right over here. That's right. So it is April 24, Friday. Whoop, right here. Friday, April 24th, Friday. So can you say that with me? April 24th, Friday. And it happens to be Fun Friday. Yeah. Well, Mr. Calendar, we'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, let's go back over here. Whoa. Whoa. Trying to keep up. Woo. We're back now. I hope you didn't get all dizzy. I got a little dizzy, but hopefully we're okay. Now. What did I forget to tell? Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot something. I forgot to tell you. I love you. That's right. I love you. I get extra love from God. And I want to share God's love by telling you that I love you. That you are amazing. You are incredible. You are wonderful. God made you special. God made you on purpose for a purpose. That's right. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. No one is like you. No one can copy you. You are special and perfect in your own way. God made us all different. Because God has different plans for all of us. Remember in the Bible it says God's way is perfect. His way is perfect. That means his way is the what? The best way. So we need to make sure we obey God and we follow his perfect plan so we can have the best life. I don't want a good life. I don't want an okay life. I want the best life. So that's why we should obey God's word. Okay? But I wanted to tell you that I love you. That you are special. And I miss you very much. I'm glad I get to see you at your house. Sitting at your table. Uh, some of you are sitting on the couch. Oh! Some are on the floor and in your little chairs. Wow. I miss you guys all. I wish you were in the classroom with me. Um, all I have in the classroom with me right now is just the animals and, well, yes, and Stitch. Stitch is with me. <laughs> okay, Stitch. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. And Stitch is with me. He's always getting into trouble. I'm always saying, no, Stitch, don't do that. But anyways, but he keeps me busy and all. But I do miss you guys. And and during the summertime, maybe in a few weeks, you guys can all come by to the school. And we can all have a picnic and get together and hang out in the gym. That would be very fun. Hopefully that can happen, okay? In the summertime, we're all going to get back together for one day. And that would be really, really fun. But guess what? I want you to know and take this moment to let you know something important. That I love you. Yeah? I do. And Edward, I love you. Uh, Kaden, yep, I love you. Uh, Ava, I love you. Uh, Eunice, I love you. Uh, let's see, Prince, I love you. Lorenzo, I love you. Madison, I love you. And Rebecca, Yep, I love you. And Sonia, all the way in Puerto Rico, I love you too. Uh, let's see, Liam, where are you? Oh, there you are. I love you, Liam. And Timothy, let's see, I love you. 
And let's see, Rando. You got your glasses on. I love you, Rando. I love you all. Remember, Bible says, love one another and be kind. Be ye kind one to another. And then another part of the Bible says to love one another. So we need to make sure that we are kind to each other, that we show God's love. And we do that by being nice to each other, helping each other. We don't make fun of each other. No, that's not nice. Be mean to each other. Nope, we don't do that either. That's not nice. We don't want to make anybody sad. We want to make all of our friends and our family feel happy and glad. That's why we need to be nice to them. Now at home, you feel like everybody's in your space. You know, you have to do school at the table or, or whatever. And so many people are all around you distracting you. And sometimes you feel like yelling or getting mad or blaming somebody because you messed up. Don't do that. Be kind, be nice, okay? In the Bible, Jesus was always kind and nice. Yes, yes, he was. He was nice to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus wasn't a nice guy, was he? Zacchaeus was stealing from a bunch of people. Yep. But Jesus was nice to him and said, I'm going to your house. And Jesus wanted to talk to him. And Jesus wanted to tell Zacchaeus that Jesus loved him and that Zacchaeus wasn't being very nice to people and that made Jesus sad and Jesus wanted Zacchaeus to be better because God made Zacchaeus to be kind to people not steal from people that's not God's perfect plan and Zacchaeus realized he was doing wrong and he changed the Bible said he even went around and gave back the money that he stole from people and Zacchaeus life was changed many people's lives were changed once they came across Jesus Jesus healed many people who were sick People who had leprosy got healed. People who were blind were able to see. People who were lame who could not walk were able to walk after Jesus healed them. Um, people who remember the man who couldn't walk who was crippled. His friends brought him over to the roof of the house. And they tore open the roof and dropped him down so Jesus can heal him. And Jesus did. There was people who could not hear who were deaf. Jesus touched their ears and they were healed. Jesus not only healed people that were sick, he brought people back from the dead who had died, Lazarus, Jared's daughter, other people. We also know that Jesus controlled the water. He turned water at the wedding into wine. Not only wine, the best wine. They said, we never had wine this good before. Because when Jesus does something, he does it the best. He doesn't just do it okay, the best. And what about other water? Like when they were on the boat and it was storming and lightning and, and thundering and raining and it was scary and the boat was rocking back and forth. And Jesus got up and said, calm, be still. And the storm, boom, ended just like that. It was nice and calm. We know Jesus walked on water too, remember? He walked on the water. Peter said, can I come to you, Lord? And Peter jumped out of that boat and, and started walking to Jesus. At first they were scared. They thought there was a ghost or something on the water. And when he got closer, they realized it was Jesus walking on the water out to them in their boat. Then Peter got excited and said, can I come? Can I come to you? Can I come with you, Jesus? And he jumped out of the boat. He had faith in Jesus that he could walk on the water too. And the Bible says he did for a little bit. Then he looked around. He got scared. He started looking around, took his eyes off Jesus. And he started to sink. And Jesus instantly was there to grab him and pull him back up. And they walked back to the boat together. So we should know that we should always keep our eyes on Jesus. Jesus will help us when we go through scary times or things that we don't understand. Keep our eyes on Jesus. Not on the other things around us. On Jesus. Not back here. Not there. But on Jesus. And Jesus will help us through it. Jesus loves us very much. Jesus promises to always be with us. You know, all the different Bible stories we heard about, Jesus was with everybody. Daniel in the lion's den. Jesus was with him with the lions. Jesus didn't say, oh, I'll come back in the morning. Good luck with those lions. Hope nobody bites you. No. Jesus was with him all night, protected him. And Daniel slept with the lions. The lions didn't eat him or bite him or anything. They snuggled up and kept him warm. They probably were a big, bushy pillow for Daniel to lay on. Uh, and Noah was in the boat. Good luck with that boat. Hope it doesn't sink on you. No, Jesus was with them. Watch over them, protect them. While they were in that boat. 
many times. The children of Israel, Jesus was with them, protecting them. You know, God is always with us. God loves us. And I tell you this every day, tell you that you are special, that God loves you, and that you need to share God's love and be kind to other people. And also that keep your eyes on God. We have to remember, listen to God's word. Keep it in our hearts so that we can obey it. If we don't listen, then we won't hear to put it in our hearts and keep it. And then we won't be able to be known by the right things. Remember the Bible says even the child is known by his doings. Well, if you're listening to God's word, you're keeping your heart and you're trying to do the right things, you're trying to obey God, you will be known by your doings. But if you don't take the time to listen to God's word, you play around during Bible time and you don't listen to your mom and dad about being good, then you get into trouble, you get other people into trouble, then people are going to know by your doings because you don't have good in your heart. You don't have, you know, the Bible verses in your heart, remembering to obey and do right. And you'll get in trouble and people won't know you by being a troublemaker and you don't want that. God didn't make you to be a troublemaker. He made you to be wonderful and kind and love one another and share God's love with other people and his word with other people. That's what we're supposed to do. Our, sh our song, Let Your Light Shine. We don't cover in a bushel. We don't hide it. Our light is God. We just reflect God. God's light shines on us and we reflect it. And all. You know, an interesting thing, I'll tell you really fast, you'll learn about this in science when you get older, but you know the moon? At night, we can see the moon. You know, the moon doesn't have any light at all. The sun has light, and the sun's very bright. If you look at the sun, it can even make your eyes go white and spotty and, and burn your eyes if you look at it too long. It's too hard. When you look up at it, it makes me want to sneeze. But you know what? The moon doesn't have its own light. The sun does. And the sun shines onto the moon and it reflects it. And the moon lights up at night. Not because there's light on the moon. The light comes from the sun. We're supposed to be like the moon. We don't have light in us. But God's love, God's light shines on us and it reflects out. So it's not anything that we do. So that's what it means by being a light. And shining for God. We should help our friends. Help mom and dad at home. This is a hard time at home. Some people are all cooped up in the house and, and they got a lot of worries on their minds. And we need to make sure that we do our best. What's our one job we have? We're small, but it's an important job. Obey. The only job we have to worry about is obey. We don't have to worry about the house bills or power bills, cable bills, phone bills, um, going to work, job. All we have to do is obey. Obey mom and dad, grandma and grandpa. Um, obey teacher. All we have to do is obey. That's it. Easy peasy. Just obey. And that will make mom and dad happy, teacher happy, grandma and grandpa happy. And especially, it will make God happy because we obeyed. Yeah, yep. And that pleases God when we obey. So today, just think about that those things. And try to be kind to somebody today. Try to do something extra nice for somebody today. Your sister, your brother, even your mommy. Do something nice for them. Say, I was doing something extra nice. It's an extra nice day. So that will be nice. So watch your video later on today, the lunch video, because I put a message in there for something for you to do during your lunch video. So, and you only know what it is if you do it during your lunch video. If you watch the lunch video later, okay? Okay, I love you guys very much. I'm going to go get ready. We got to watch the next uh, next video, okay? About all of our work behind me. Okay, I'll see you guys. What? what? We're going to go, guys. What? Oh, okay. You want to say goodbye? Okay. Okay, say goodbye. Okay. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Love you. Okay, guys. See you later. Come on. Come with me. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, come on. Okay. See you later. Bye. We love you. Bye. Hey, guys. Look at this.